I knew that Dad was the world's largest refugee camp, but it wasn't until I saw it from an airplane that I realised it's more of a city than a camp. 80% of the new arrivals are children and women fleeing the famine zone across the Somalia border. When people arrive, they receive the basic necessities they so desperately need. Despite an endless influx of new people, the registration and distribution of goods is completely calm and orderly. It's a testament not only to the experience of the care staff, but also the dignity of the refugees. Death from starvation isn't the only thing refugees on their way to Dadaab have to fear. Uh, Gender-based violence, we have seen a lot of women who are being raped on their way to the camps. People are, are fleeing from a rentless violence comported by a drought. We never seen this kind of situation because almost we are receiving 2,000 people a day. CARE has set up a screening area at the DAB reception centre to help identify and assist people who survived sexual violence during their journey. And we have a, a psychosocial counsellor here with us looking at uh, how we are interviewing the, the survivors. Then if, if the, the questions that we ask, like have you lost someone on the way, has something happened to you, the way the survivor answers the question, the psychosocial are able to pick it up. With hundreds of children arriving every week, the schools are scrambling to accommodate them. How are you coping with this? Very difficult because some, some of them land outside even. Yeah. In the sand, yeah. yeah. We don't have enough grassroots for them. We don't have enough textbooks for them. Teachers are not enough. It's very difficult. There's tents set up so that children have a place to start being educated because you really yeah. want kids in school immediately, immediately because yeah. it's one of the best ways to help ensure that the psychological support. One father told us he came because there was school and soap here in the dog. And it, you know, his children surrounded him and he was and we asked, did, did the kids go to school in Somalia? And he laughed at us and he said, they went to the school of violence. Being here gives them the opportunity to get education. And what we're also doing is teaching the Kenyan curriculum so they're also learning English. There are wonderful opportunities here. After I left Dadaab, I visited struggling cattle herders in Ethiopia's Berena region. It hasn't rained in Berena in nearly a year, and the animals are dying for lack of pasture and water. <laughs> Care designed different projects and determined in this area, and one of the projects is a nutrition intervention, and that nutrition intervention is entirely dealing about the nutritional problem of children, and this one is for animal feed and animal destocking. After the investigation of the livestock, it will be slaughtered and if the animal is approved for the consumption of a human being, it will be distributed and we will provide him payment of 800 Ethiopian bir. CARE is building and maintaining watering points in the worst affected areas. The situation in the Horn is dire, but there's real hope. CARE is already providing one million people with aid and is ready to expand these life-saving operations. We need your help. <laughs>